That's some great advice. And uh, what a journey that Ali and Nesma have had. His sister played at Cincinnati, Ali, uh, here at BYU. So this combines both of those. And uh, what a season he's had so far. If you just look at his line right there, it does not reflect what he has meant to BYU. And the 14 to 1 assist turnover ratio obviously is the highlight. Uh, yeah, absolutely not. I mean, his impact has been so huge for this BYU team. He's coming off an injury, working himself back into shape, but it didn't take him long to really highlight uh, all of his skills. I mean, he, he fits in so perfect with this BYU team and, and playing that five out and taking some pressure off of these shooters, right? Uh, you know, the, the shooters, Trevin Nell, Spencer Johnson, Jackson Robinson, they don't realize how, I'm sure they do realize now, how, how important Ali Khalifa is to them getting open and, and, and the flow of their offense. I, I love his, his court vision and how he sees the game. Wait a uh, second, I love it. <laughs> it, it, it is amazing, I, I, I'm a big fan. Atiki Ali Atiki as well, and then Foos. These are three guys all from Africa, all Muslim, all provide a beautiful blend of culture and religion and experience and language. Fu speaks multiple languages as well, and he is back tonight after missing the last seven games. BYU so excited to have him back. And in those six games, he averaged 64% from the floor that he did play in 10 points per game, five and a half rebounds, just that enforcer inside that we talk. Big barrel chested, strong big that BYU needs in the Big 12 to go against. Yes, they're gonna be taller, big post players in there, but with his seven foot two wingspan, he's gonna be just fine. He's very explosive and he has that ability to go up and really play above the rim for BYU. Good to have Foose back in the lineup. Not expected to start, he'll probably come off the bench tonight.